And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski Daddy, cover the light round. Let's start with Let's start with Cameron in North Carolina. Cameron. Hey Jim, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Cameron. How about you? I'm doing great. I just wanted to ask you about prudential finance and how you think their stock price could hold up. I, look, I think prudential has got a big yield, but that's not preventing stocks from going down. And the best insurer is Chubb, and that stock keeps going down. So as far as I'm concerned, we got to stay away from the insurers. Although I like Chubb at a certain level. Let's go to Jack in Ohio. Jack. Hey, thanks for your help, Jimmy. Absolutely. Hey, it's, a, it's a dividend buy, and I like to buy on a bounce. It pulled back after they raised their dividend, and now it's starting to climb again. ABR, Arbor Realty Trust. You know, that is a company I, I don't, I tend to be against these companies, and it's done well for me to be against it. Those mezzanine loan, especially real, real estate finance, is just a dicey business. I'm saying no. Let's go to O'Connor in Pennsylvania. O'Connor. Yes. O'Connor, go ahead. Oh, Hello? Uh, I'm O'Connor? on the phone. Yeah, go ahead. It's Jim. I'm on the phone. We're both on the phone. Well, well I have my qu- Should I give you my question now? Yeah, sure. I'm name a stock. Even better. Well, it, my, my question concerns BHP. Uh, oh, BHP. Okay. Okay, listen. We do, not buy B- we do not buy a mineral and mining company going into a recession that's mandated by the Fed. We have to say no. I know it looks cheap. But we're not going there. Now I'm going to Ali in California. Ali. Hey, Jim. First time calling here, and congrats on my new set. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. you. My question to you is on Carnival Cruise. Uh, They just announced a $1 billion stock offering last week, and their stock has dropped over 10% since then. Buy, sell, or hold, Jim? No, I'm not going to touch a stock that does a big second or a big offering. At nine, when the stock was at double that just a few months ago. So, no, they should have done it when their stock was higher. I say no to Carnival. How about uh, Nashat in Virginia? Nashat. Yes, I'm here. How are you, Jim? I love you, my dear. Uh, oh, thank you. Hope you remember the club. That would make me happy. What's going on? I mean, I bought a thousand share uh, on Uphold, like UPSD. They were $100 oh. back in the days, and now they dropped to 24 yeah. I mean, if you are well, me, what you would do, hold, That's a sell, painful one. Or- no, no. I think you have to sell it. Uh, I hate to be as negative as I am, but I am very negative. I don't like their business model. I don't like what that quarter was like. I don't like the pre-announcement. I mean, I sound like a Dr. Seuss character here. I do not like it. I am. I am sell-up start. And let's go to Bob in New Jersey. Bob. Hey, Jim. Uh, my stock... Based in the UK, it's small, but the vertical move had me take profits. Should I go back to the ver- uh, the electrical vertical aerospace? No, no, that company's losing money. We don't get it. I need to go to Burt in Massachusetts. Burt. Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, Burt. How are you? I'm good. I'm sending you a. Big Boston booyah! I'll take that. And I was up in Nantucket this weekend, very close by. What's up? Yes, I'd like to get your opinion on Iron Mountain. Good, consistent business, real estate investment trust with a 5% yield. I say buy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.